Hey guys, this is Doug and Brian from MintGreen.com coming at you with episode number three. We have a lot of cool things going on this week, so let's find out what's on tap for this episode. Well, Doug, the new Belgian brewing company sent us six eco-friendly beers that we're going to review. Very nice. That's going to be fun, and then we're going to have some news. Very cool, but before we jump into the review, let's give away this little baby. This is the Agent 18 Eco Shield. We're giving it out to... Mr. iPhone Maniac! This guy is a maniac. He's crazy. Watch his videos. He has a couple videos. He's going to uh, be happy to know that he has won this case. Um, if you're watching, buddy, get a hold of us via our YouTube channel and we will send this thing out pronto. He's nuts, Doug. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's jump into our review of the little brewskis. From using wind-powered electricity to UV-blocking windows, the new Belgian brewing company is committed to being a leader in innovative green standards. Hey guys, I'm here with Mac, and we are going to review some beer. First up is the uh, Fat Tire Amber Ale. So, uh, Mac, can I open yours for you, please? Yes, you may. And then uh, you just pour it in your glass. What do you think so far? How does it look? It looks uh, very caramelly. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it has like a nice color to it, you know? It's like yeah. a golden brown. Looks kind of nice. Okay, let's take a sip. Alright, what do you oh, think? That's very good. It's very malty. Yeah, very malty, creamy. It's good. I really like it. I'd kind of compare it to like a Sierra Nevada, but not as Dark. bitter. It's like smoother. But it's an ale. Sierra Nevada's an ale, right? The cool thing about this beer is it's uh, 5.2 percentage of alcohol. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, it feels good. 5.2 is my thing. Feels <laughs> <laughs> Out of five minty green leaves, how many would you give this beer? Well, as a proficient uh, fat tire drinker, I have I mean, to give you're, it a five. You give it a five. Give it a five. Wow. wow. You're, I you're, love fat tire. You're a professional beer drinker. Professional. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to give it a four. Um, I really like it, but I feel like the more and more I drink it, the taste kind of goes away. It doesn't really stay with you. But the very fir the first like three tastes, excellent. But I'll give it four. It's really good. Now Mac and I are gonna tackle the uh, Mothership Wit Organic Wheat Beer, brewed with spices. So uh, let's crack this open, huh, Mac? All right. Actually, before we do that, I think you have to uh, explain something on the bottle. Here. It's uh, how to fly the Mothership instructions. I thought that's pretty fun. Uh, number one is pour. Can well, we do that? Number one should be open. Well, it, see, they made a mistake here. Pour it a little bit. Here we go. We'll, we'll pour it in here. I got a little. Something there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's start swirling. Oh yeah, you can see some. Uh, it's a twister. It's a twister. Okay, finish it up. Wow, actually, that's interesting. Gives it quite a head. It looks very interesting. It's, it's like a. It's much. Uh, it's much lighter. Looks like dirty water. You know what? Actually, it doesn't look too appetizing. I wonder right. how it's going to taste. You know, the first thing I noticed was the odor right before I took a sip was not that appetizing. Yeah, it's like a. It, it has like a, like a vegetable smell to it. It tastes pretty good though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's really carbonated more than the uh, than the fat tire. In my opinion, mm -hmm. you can see you can see the uh, you can see the carbonation. And actually, the, did you notice this? The head on this is staying way more intact than, than on the fat tire. Yeah, yeah. And I like that. There's a yeah. lot of flavor here. You know, good not flavor. for not for me. I mean, really? And it tastes good, but it seems to lose its flavor. Let's get out of business. What do you give it? Out of five, out of five minty green leaves, what do you give it? Yeah, keep drinking. No, wait, take one more sip. Okay, one more, one more. Take a, take a bigger one than that, though. Take okay. it. Take it. Yeah. Put it down that go. I'm really drinking it. I don't know. I'd have, I'd have to give it a, a two. Wow. Well, I, I'm being completely honest. I'm going to blow some minds. I give it a five out of five. I really like it. It tastes really good. I, I mean, it's a little... It's, it's like... I understand it's not like it's not like the fat tire, but it's really good. And actually, well, I, I can't compare it to any other beer. 
It tastes like really unique. It's a really unique taste, and it but it tastes good to me. Yeah, it's a lighter beer. And you gotta you gotta feel good that it's 100% organic, you know. And I and I also like it's beefy. It tastes like beef. It, it tastes good, man. It tastes like bacon. Remember we said beefy. You know what I'm saying? Matt, it's beefy. Matt, where did Matt go? Oh, hey, girl, what are you doing? Are you crazy or something? Oh, hey, baby, I was riding the mothership. You want to get crazy, y'all? Hello? 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 Are you there? Hello? You ever seen Forrest Gump? I'll show you that movie you left and right. <laughs> Alright guys, that was a lot of fun doing the review on the new Belgium Brewing Company products. We gotta thank those guys, that was awesome. Uh, made us slur our words a little bit, have to admit, a lot of fun. But, let's jump into the news for this week. What's up, Ryan? Well, we got some really big news, actually. Mint Green is gonna be attending CES. Aw, oh, yeah, folks. In C Las Vegas, CES, of all places. the greatest show on earth. Yeah. What it is, it's the biggest show in the world for gadgets and gizmos. They have something this year called the Sustainable Planet. We're going to be there. It features all the eco-friendly products. So everything that Mint Green needs to know about is going to be there. So we're excited. We're going to do footage for you Thursday night. Our Thursday show is going to be a little different this week. We're going to basically film the first day of CES, cut it together in the hotel room, and slap it on YouTube that night. So you guys are going to get first-hand glimpse at CES 2010. It'll be pretty fun. And also, Doug, there's a lot of things we can't talk about, yep. but there's some really exciting things, and we're going to let you know about them next week, so make sure to tune into that. Exactly. All right, guys, well, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, so it'll automatically show you when our new video comes out. Cool? See you later. See ya.